In New York City, on December 16, 1835, there was a spectacular fire. While it was still a topic of conversation, Nathaniel Currier, then 22 years old, published a view of it. It was his first print. This picture is one of his famous fire pictures. These pictures are a tremendous use of information about life in the 19th century and how fires were fought. It wasn't until April 15th of 1881 that the first organized drill of the local fire brigade was held in Piatone. In charge were Captain John Fetty, Captain Fred Conrad, Gus Gibson, and Frank Conrad. It also was in April of 1881 that Piatone purchased its first piece of fire equipment, a 10-man pump, five to each side, similar to the type of pump pictured here. It was pulled to the scene by the men itself and made use of wells and horse troughs for a water supply. Two years later, a local fire brigade was put to the test when the fire started at the M. Collins elevator and spread across the tracks. The entire south side of Main Street was destroyed by the fire. The entire block was then subsequently rebuilt. It was in 1895 that the village erected its first water tower and water mains were installed. Some 2,860 feet of 6-inch water main and 3,972 feet of 4-inch main plus 15 hydrants comprised the initial water system. This not only cleared up many health problems in the area, but it also established a reliable water supply for the department's pumper. The same 10-man pump was still in use until 1900. After that, no record is found of its disposition. In 1900, hose carts were now used to carry fire hose, which were then hooked to the hydrants. Ladder carts and a 30-gallon water tank were also hauled on two-wheel carts to village fires. Outside the village, a bucket was still the only firefighting tool available. In 1910, the first firehouse was built. It was located just north of the Schrader Sales Garage, now known as Trader Schrader Dodge. In it were kept the hose cart, the two ladder carts, and the large water tank. It was around this time that Henry Kurtz assumed the duties of fire chief. Elmer Kurtz was assistant chief, and our records show that five other men were active as firemen. Chet and Paul Conrad, Emil Bruner, Gib Jurz, and Chet Kruger. In 1912, the Piatone Volunteer Fire Department was organized. The equipment was then moved into a new station next to the water tower. Elmer Kurtz was now fire chief and Chet Conrad took over as assistant chief. A year later on May 8, 1913, fire once again struck Main Street destroying 10 businesses. The headline in many papers read, Worst Fire in Piatone History, Block on Main Street Wiped Out. In the course of the summer, the entire block on the south side of Main Street was again rebuilt, mostly as it appears today. In 1915, a wooden tank of the water tower burst. It was replaced with a metal tank, which remains in place until it with a brick foundation was taken down in the latter part of the 1980s. The next big event in the history of Piatone as far as the fire department was concerned, was the purchase of a new 1924 Model T Ford truck. Mounted on the truck were large chemical tanks for fighting fires and 500 feet of fire hose plus other equipment and ladders. Elmer Kurtz and Chet Conrad were still chief and assistant chief. 1924 also marked the year that a new village hall and fire station were built, along with a new pump for the well. The headline of May 5th 1928 read, Blaze This Morning Is Disaster. Piatone had just finished a new high school annex to the grade school building. The annex alone cost the school system $55,000. A fire broke out sometime around 1 in the morning and did about $95,000 in damage to the annex and the original building. The entire upper story of the annex and the entire old building were destroyed. All school records along with the personal belongings of the students and faculty were lost. A call for help went out to Kankakee and to Chicago Heights. Unfortunately, Kankakee was unable to respond due to a high number of local fires. Kankakee had only two pumpers in the entire city at this time. Chicago Heights did respond with a pumper. Unfortunately, the fire had gained too much momentum before they arrived and nothing could be done. 
Piatone, at the time, had only the Model T Ford truck, which carried only some water, hose, and some supplies, but had no pumping capacity. 1931 brought change to the fire department. With the death of Elmer Kurtz, Chet Conrad was appointed chief. Alvin Harms and Paul Conrad were appointed assistant chiefs and were later joined by George Lindemann and Emil Kennecke as assistant chiefs. A second fire truck was purchased in 1935, a new Seagrave fire truck with a 500 gallon per minute pump, two and a half inch hose, a reel line, and a water tank. This now joined the Model T as the second fire truck in Piatone and the first with pumping capacity. 1940 marked another big step for fire protection in Piatone. It was this year that Chet Conrad, the chief, was successful in setting up the organization of a rural fire department. After its passage by vote, it consisted of 375 members and was supervised by 12 directors, elected annually by membership. With the membership dues collected, the rural fire department purchased a Chevy fire truck with a 500 gallon per minute Seagrave pump and water tank. Also in 1940, another tradition was started. This year marked the first of the annual Fire Department Sportsman Turkey Raffles. The only difference from the raffle held in 1940 and the one currently held is that the original raffles, all the turkeys and ducks that were raffled off, were alive, not frozen. As of 1952, the average membership on the volunteer department was at 30, and equipment consisted of two fire trucks, and an emergency panel truck equipped with an inhalator, portable light plant, floodlights, and a smoke ejector, and then masks for the men. Later in 1952, the Piatone Rural Fire Department saw the addition of a new tanker. The tank would hold 1,100 gallons of water and made fighting fires in areas away from the water source much more viable. The fall of 1952 also saw the addition to the fire station. The house was growing. More bays were needed. The department itself was growing with the town and the times. 1956 saw another addition to the fire station built by the volunteers themselves. The meeting area and kitchen had been added to the existing building. Piatone Fire Department saw change again in 1958. Chet Conrad was stepping down as chief. Emo Kennecke was appointed to take his position. George Lindemann and Osmer Knickerum were appointed assistant chiefs. Three years later, the Piatone Fire Department purchased a new village fire truck. It was a 1961 engine with a 750 gallon per minute pump and a 500 gallon tank along with hose and other equipment. A year later, the Piatone Rural Fire Department purchased a new 80 series truck, which was fitted with a 500 gallon per minute front mount pump, a 750 gallon tank. Again, the truck was equipped with hose, ladders, and all other needed equipment. In 1966, growing pains once again forced the fire department to look for more space. The answer was a two base station erected on the railroad frontage next to the Legion. Two trucks could now be kept in the other station, and also marked the first time that equipment was stored on both sides of the railroad tracks. Chief Emil Kennecke resigned his position in 1967, and the changing of the guard resulted in the following. Alan Harms became chief, George Lindemann, Larry Ponton, and Homer Clausing were appointed assistant chiefs. 1968 brought with it some new equipment. Among the purchases were a 12-foot walk-in van which would serve as an equipment truck. Rescue tools were also purchased. With the number of local accidents increasing and Interstate 57 opening, a hydraulic rescue jack and a K-12 rescue saw. The financing of the project was handled by the village board and the rural fire department, each contributing $3,000. The remaining amount of $5,600 would be raised by fundraisers such as pancake breakfasts and the fall turkey raffle. Also in 1968, the fire department purchased a foam generator to help fight many types of fires. The generator could be used on gas and oil fires or spills and structure fires 